Hello everyone, warmest welcome to my channel. Today I am going to make some simple idli recipe with homemade batter. Starting the process with soak urad dal and rice. First of all measure and take 1 cup urad dal in a bowl. Add 1 teaspoon fenugreek, 1 wash well and add enough water. First time ever, I am giving a voice over to my video. At first, I had no courage to speak in my videos because you may experience that too. When I hear to my own voice, it made me feel awkward. But I personally don't like silent videos much. So I gathered some courage to speak and here I go. In a separate bowl, add 3 cups of idli rice. Wash them and add water as well. Idli rice is something special because it's pre-boiled. It contains tons of good bacteria. Let them soak at least 5 to 6 hours. Moving to the next step, grinding them into a nice and smooth paste. I usually use urad dal soft water to grind them because it makes the fermenting process way better. Use very little water to grind and make a thick batter. In between, add more water if the batter becomes too thick. You may loosen the blender blade area with the spatula to ease the grinding process. Otherwise, it won't blend well.
to be honest, I'm not a perfect cook. In fact, I cook only for my family. But when I receive much love and good reactions after tasting my food, I feel proud of myself. In fact, those bunch of good comments made me start this channel too. As I have made many idlis using this recipe, that practice made the best out of it. Grinding rice is a bit tricky because when we grind using regular grinder, the temperature will go up. To prevent heating up, in between add one or two ice cubes. Then it will manage to stay in room temperature. Otherwise, it will kill all the good bacteria in the rice. Add all together. Mix them all using your bare hands. Keep it aside in a warm place. If you live in a very cold area, you may keep it in the oven with lights on. When you can see bubbles like this, it's well raised. I kept it overnight and it will take around minimum 6 hours to raise like this. Now I'm going to make some chocolate idlis, my kids favorite. Separate some batter as you need. Add some salt and water if needed. You may keep the batter in the fridge around uh, one week
this consistency. Grease the idli maker with some oil. Pour a little batter first, add some chocolate pieces in the middle and pour some batter to cover the chocolate pieces. You can use any chocolate as your choice. Steam them until it's fully cooked. It may take around 15 to 20 minutes. Let them cool down a bit. Then you can scoop out without any mess. And it's done. These chocolate titlies are best to add in kids lunch box. Do try the recipes and let me know in the comments. You will thank me later.
let's make a ch coconut chutney to go well with idlis. Scrape some coconut In goes one garlic clove One green chilli In goes some salt Half a lime Grind well into a smooth paste. Add in a little bit of water if needed. green chilies if you need more heat to make the temper for the chutney add some oil into the heated pan Mustard seeds, cumin seeds, and a handful of garlic. taste and add in some salt and lime if needed. This easy chutney goes really well with these idlis.